What is going on everybody and welcome to another book review. Now it's been a while since I've done one of these, but every now and again you come across one of those particular books that is really worth sharing and this being one of them. Now the author of this book is someone that I thoroughly enjoy. I like all of his content and one of his other books actually is one of my favorite books. Now the book I'm actually talking about is Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday. But before we get started, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let's get this book review started. say I really enjoy Ryan Holiday and everything that he shares about what he's learned about the Stoic philosophy and how you can apply it to your life and something I really enjoy something I gravitate towards a lot and I feel like I do a lot of different things a lot of my uh, philosophy in life has been uh, much related to that of Stoicism so being said this book um, even before even this book, just to give you some insight, I was reading uh, The Obstacles in the Way was one of my favorite books. And I do believe I actually have a review on this, on this book as well. Uh, but that book taught me a lot of different things about to look at things differently and not always just come at things essentially from the front, right? And realize that there's other ways, there's other perspectives and directions you can come at a problem and be able to solve it much easier than once thought. So being said, you have, there was a, another book as well, I believe Ego, uh, I don't recall what the exact title was from that one. Uh, I didn't actually get to read that particular book, but this one was ex uh, very exciting. This one um, was something I was interested in because I haven't really read any books on fear and, and it's something that people talk about all the time in defining courage and a lot of people think you just have courage. And this book debunks that. This book allows you to realize that it's, it's courage is something you foster and something you have to put in practice to be able to do that. And not only that, but you know, he goes over different people throughout history. He goes over stoic philosophers that have talked about these different things and, and other people in history as well, not just uh, stoics, but in realizing that there is you have to come to a point to where you have to just be courageous just for a moment. If you can be courageous for a moment, you can overcome fear. And I myself have always found this way because I've always, every time I've run into fear, I've realized that I just have to get through that moment. And it's just but a, a moment that may only be a couple seconds, but it seems like forever. But if you just go through with a moment, right, you can do so much more. And it's, it's this is what holds us back. A lot of times fear is what holds us back from doing a lot of the big things that we want in life and something I talk about all the time on this channel and because of the fact that you know you don't want to uh, live live an average life right like we all want better things in life we all want to improve ourselves in some way shape or form I mean that's just something that I think is a naturally part of who we are we don't want to just uh, not be able to to just live a mediocre life. There's something inside, inside of us, there's some calling inside of us that a lot of times we just don't answer and we push off to the side. And this book helps you with that. This book allows you to see uh, what it takes to get you there. And a lot of times I've noticed that throughout my life and I've taken the leaps and stuff that I've taken in my life have been overcoming that fear, overlooking the fear, and not, not just being completely blinded by it and being fearless, no, but you should be calculated in how you, t how you look upon fear. And to do that, you have to be uh, courageous uh, to come at it tactfully, but then allow yourself to to know that the fear is going to be there either way, either you know, how, no matter how much preparation you have, you realize that the preparation helps when the fear comes along and realize that you can use your preparation and use that, that, that moment in time to help you push through the fear uh, to achieve the things that you want. And again, this is one of the biggest things that hold us back, right? Whether it's society, your friend or family, whoever the case is, has been telling you likewise that there's no, they have no point of reference to essentially give you that you will be successful in whatever it is. And so in turn, you believe the same thing. Well, I have no point of reference, so how could I achieve that thing? You know, whether it's in health, whether it's in uh, writing a book or creating a business or whatever the case is, you realize that uh, you get to that point to fear can be crippling 
to a lot of people and it, it, it crushes dreams. It crushes uh, making change in your life because you're afraid of what you're going to lose as opposed to what you're gaining. And a lot of times, you know, fear is just something that is always going to be there. But again, you have to realize that to be able to overcome the fear, you have to be able to adjust and, and realize that you're going, what you're going to have to do once you get that, that reference point in your life about, okay, well, I've overcome fear in this one situation. I know what it takes. And then you do it again and then you repeat that process over and over and you realize that you start overcoming fear and, and being courageous is, is so much more. So, so if you can learn to be create a uh, So if you can learn to be a uh, create I can't even see it. See, if you can learn to teach yourself how to find the courage to overcome these particular episodes in your life, you can start gaining control of your life and not being passive in your life, but actually taking an active role in your life in making the change that you seek. Again, because a lot of times if you come into things that are hopeful, if you come into uh, different situations where you think uh, maybe just in time things will get better, you have to overcome the fear. You can't just push it off because it won't. And you're further delaying uh, something that you could have possibly even right now or uh, at a much sooner date than as opposed to just letting it drift down the road and hope Hopefully it happens a good majority of the time it doesn't happen and this is always something I've found in my life is I've always had to uh, be an active participant in my life uh, and overcome fear to be able to get the thing that I want or to essentially clarify my thoughts feelings and ideas to be able to get to where I want to go because a lot of times people don't know people don't understand but if you're not willing to do that it's not going to happen or, or realize at what point, if it's not going to happen, that you're able to uh, change direction because maybe you're spending too much time on something and you're fearful of asking about something in particular and then realize that you've been wasting your time and that you could have actually just came to the forefront with that, that question or answer and then you can readjust and, and take um, a different approach when need be. So if you are, so as far as the book it goes, I really love this book. I highly recommend this book. I believe it's something that you need to have or read at least once. I think it is, it's definitely got a lot of good stories. It's got a lot of good uh, tools that you can use in your toolbox essentially to help you overcome the fear, uh, to find your courage, to go out there and start achieving the change that you want in your life. And if it sounds like a book that you really want, I'm actually gonna leave it down in the description below. And until next time guys, I will see you guys. Later.